Police say they have caught the suspect in the deadly stabbing of well-known tech executive Bob Lee. And this morning, that man faces a judge. Police nab 38-year-old Nima Maumani in Emeryville. We've also found out a little bit more about him this morning as we await his arraignment. He's a tech entrepreneur, and investigators say Lee and Maumani somehow knew each other. Surveillance footage reviewed by the San Francisco Standard shows Lee walking alone on Main Street, gripping his side with one hand and then his cell phone in the other, reportedly a trail of blood behind him. Hey, Justin Andrews is live at the courthouse this morning ahead of his appearance. And Justin, that video evidence we know is going to play huge in this case. It certainly will read. Momini is set to be arraigned this morning at 9 o'clock here at the courthouse. And ever since news broke of his arrest on yesterday, our team has been digging into this guy's background. So here's what we've been able to uncover so far. There's the Momini who had some run-ins with the law when he was around in his 20s. We've uncovered in 2004 he was charged with a misdemeanor for driving while intoxicated. We've also learned in 2011 he pleaded no contest to selling a switchblade, landing him in jail for about 10 days. Then there's the Momini, the tech entrepreneur, the guy whose LinkedIn profile tells us he owns Expand IT, which is a company that's listed as providing IT solutions across the Bay Area since about 2010. The warm and welcoming Momini, as his neighbors describe him, saying he's like any other tech guy in the Bay. Well, there's also the Momini prosecutors paint as an accused killer, the 38 year old who was suspected of stabbing Cash App founder Bob Lee around 2.30 in the morning on April 4th. The Momini who was arrested in Emeryville yesterday and booked on one charge of murder. This Momini is one neighbors say they knew nothing about, but yesterday they saw him get put in cuffs. Total shock. I'm in the public relations business. We don't normally wind up working next to killers. It was unusual because it was personal. Professionally, it's not unusual. It certainly was unusual for everybody else in this building who are architects, they're filmmakers, they're technology companies, or they're artists. They don't have the cops show up at 5 a.m. and the news media show up shortly thereafter. And again, prosecutors tell us uh, the suspect and the victim knew each other, but they stopped short of explaining how they knew one another. Coming up in the next 30 minutes, we're diving into the investigation where it stands right now. Reed, I'll